shocking new details in the case of a former Covington teacher accused of raping one of her students. A phone call played in court is strongly suggesting she's pregnant with her victim's child. Hello, I'm Greg Hurst. Stephanie is off tonight. WRAG's Bria Jones breaks down the disturbing new allegations. Wide-eyed and with a look of confusion, 38-year-old Alyssa McCommon walks into a Tipton County courtroom. A judge revoked bond today for the former teacher accused of raping a child. In a shocking phone call played in court, McCommon, who was accused of being the woman on the line, appears to be in distress, suggesting she's pregnant with one of her alleged victim's child. Just forget we ever talked, okay? I'll this baby and I'll love this baby. To which the victim replied, okay. Mick Common, a former teacher at Charger Academy in Covington, was arrested in September. She was initially accused of inappropriate conduct with students. In the conversation, she's heard pleading for the young man's silence. I'm going to raise this lady. I can do this. I'm trying to tell you when it comes out, I'm looking like you. We don't have to call me anymore. Just please, God, tell me you're not going to say anything. I'll never speak to you again. McCommon was first charged with rape of a child aged 12 or younger. Police say weeks later she violated her conditional bond by contacting one of her alleged victims. So now she's facing additional charges, including coercion of a witness, aggravated stalking and harassment. McCommon's attorney, Jerry Mason, says he cannot confirm if it was his client on the phone call. The only evidence they presented of confirmation that this was supposed to be Ms. McCommon was a detective who spoke with her once for a few seconds, like five weeks ago. He also did not say if his client was pregnant, but tells WREG he has requested a mental evaluation. Obviously, there's a, a huge community outcry for justice. Whether she's guilty or innocent, any person in her situation on either side is going to struggle with it mentally. In Covington, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3. McCommon's attorney says they will be awaiting the mental evaluation while getting ready for the next hearing. She is expected to be back in court November 27th.